So today I'm going back to the roots a bit and we are going to talk about yield farming which is perhaps the best way to bring in passive income through DeFi. So for those of you who don't know, my channel actually started as a yield farming channel uh, but since then has been uh, covering trading more and more. But uh, yeah, let's talk a bit about yield farming. Yield farming is something that I'm using with my assets today and I'm going to share some of the platforms I'm actually using. So. Regardless of whether you have no experience with yield farming or have been doing it for a while now So I will be covering everything you need to know to get started But also the top places do it across multiple chains including Ethereum the Binance Smart Chain and of course Polygon so Putting some of your assets towards creating an income stream can be a great way to diversify a bit and doing it through yield farming allows you to still have exposure to one or more tokens and comes with a lot of flexibility of how you can position yourself. You're also able to use stable coins. You can essentially put in a US dollar amount in stable coins and then you're able to basically catch that yield which is usually somewhere around 10 to 40% so it could be pretty pretty lucrative and also guys uh, if you enjoy this type of content well uh, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell and uh, let me know if you would like to see more of this content in the comment section so I will start off with a quick explanation of what yield farming is and how to do it before moving on to the best places to do so Basically, all yield farming is, is depositing crypto to a protocol that allows you to earn some form of interest on it. A lot of the time, that is through providing liquidity on a decentralized exchange and then staking the LP tokens, but that can also be done through lending protocols and other ways as well. Using lending protocols is fairly simple. All you have to do is deposit a single asset to start earning. For example, here on Compound, on Ethereum, you can deposit USDC or USDT and start earning around 2% right away. Yield farming through liquidity provision has a few more steps, but is easy to figure out. Using SushiSwap as an example, you first have to buy the tokens you wish to provide liquidity for. You can decide what trading pair to choose either by considering what assets you want to hold or by looking at the available rates for different pairs in farms. Let's say we looked at the SushiSwap farms available and saw that the Ethereum and ALCX pair has a rate that looks good, then you would need to buy equal dollar amounts of both tokens. It is important to note that you can buy the needed tokens for farming from anywhere and uh, I will have more on that later on in this video as some places are better than others for buying and selling. Once you have your equal amounts of tokens such as $1 of uh, wrapped Ethereum and $1 uh, or $100 in each, so $100 for Ethereum and $100 for ALCX, you simply navigate to the liquidity tab and deposit them. You will then receive corresponding liquidity tokens in your wallet. Then you move back to the farming section, input the number of tokens you have or just click the maximum amount and uh, you deposit them. That is all you have to do and then your rewards will start being collected. So before I get to the list of the best places to farm, if you are planning to buy any tokens for farming or for any other reason for that matter on Ethereum Polygon or the Binance Smart Chain, you should consider doing so through the one inch decentralized exchange aggregator. So decentralized exchanges are already great, but aggregators like OneInch are even better because they automatically find users the lowest price with the lowest slippage and fees across a bunch of different DEXs. For example, if we choose a random pair here, such as the Ethereum to Wi-Fi uh, pair, we can then look here and see the price on all the different exchanges and then the price on OneInch. Transaction costs are up to 42% cheaper on one inch, which is very nice. Additionally, one inch recently announced a program where they will be refunding gas fees back to users up to a total of 10 million one inch tokens worth. This program is already ongoing and the 1st of September, one inch will refund stakers different amounts of their gas fees from August. So you can see the chart here to see how much is needed to stake to earn each amount back. And uh, another feature One Inch has is their referral program, which is something most DEXs have not implemented yet. So lastly, One Inch also has a mobile app for iOS if you need to do some decentralized trading on the go. So uh, if you're buying tokens for farming, I would definitely uh, advise you to have a look at One Inch to see if you are able to get 
uh, a better price there because slippage is actually one of the biggest problems uh, when you're trying to yield farm because if you are going to do a big amount due to how Dexas works well if you're going to uh, try to buy a huge amount of any particular token many many times there is too big of a slippage so that's just a friendly tip for everyone wanting to do that yield farming so now that you know how to farm and the best place to buy your tokens for doing so let's get started with a list of the top places to do so starting on the ethereum network so this list is of course based on my opinion so if you have any other farms that you would like me to cover or some farms you think are great then leave them down in the comment section. But to start off with, if you are a beginner and want to use something simple and safe, Compound is somewhere you could start. Compound is actually used by some very big players in DeFi, which is generally a sign of higher quality protocols and has been around for a while now, which is also a good sign. The APYs are not as high as some other places, but it is one of the safest platforms out there. So a wide variety of assets are supported here, including several different stable coins, which usually earn the highest at about 2 to 3%. Another big lending protocol on Ethereum is Aave, and it is used uh, basically the same way. You deposit a single asset, which is then lent out, providing you with interest in return. There are some different assets available on Aave than on Compound, but once again, stablecoins are usually the highest earners because they are what people like to borrow the most. Moving on, as I already showed in my example earlier, SushiSwap is one of the best places to farm on Ethereum. The project may have started as just a fork of Uniswap, but it has gone on to become one of the most actively developed projects in DeFi and has expanded across many different chains and areas, even starting their own lending and borrowing platform to compete with protocols like Compound and Aave. The farms can be found here and can be sorted total value locked or APR. And uh, actually, let's uh, uh, just make one thing clear. I am only talking about decentralized solutions in this video. There are many centralized solutions such as Celsius, Crypto.com, many others. But uh, those are centralized. And for this video, I'm going to focus on the decentralized ones. Now, let's move on to Polygon, a layer 2 solution for Ethereum. Polygon is a great choice for farming thanks to the super low fees. On base layer Ethereum, fees can really start to play into which farms you choose and how often you move between farms, but on Polygon or other networks with low fees, they become much less important. To begin with on uh, Polygon, we once again have SushiSwap. You simply choose the Polygon network right here and then you can see all available farms. There are not quite as many available yet, but there is still a decent amount of variety and the rates can be a bit better because they, uh, there are not as many people providing liquidity on this network yet. Moving on, we have DinoSwap. The animated theme may look a bit silly, but this is a serious project. As you can see, it has a lot of US dollars locked in it currently. DinoSwap also provides you with a link to the Polygon to Ethereum bridge or the other way around. If you want to bridge your assets from Ethereum to Polygon, well, you can do so on the bridge. And also there is an exchange on DinoSwap to go along with its farms, which are available right here. One thing to pay attention to is that the APRs on uh, these farms are going to be highly dependent of the price of the Dino tokens because the rewards are essentially being paid out in Dino tokens mostly. So uh, the thing is that uh, you need to pay attention to the price. The price has gone down a bit now. So of course, if the price continues to go up because it did have huge pumps prior to the more recent drop if the price of dino just like with every other farm if it continues to go up and uh, that is going to have a big effect on the apr but the aprs as you can see right now the yield is still pretty damn good if you compare it to a regular bank account of course it's not even comparable but just understand that the rates here fluctuates uh, depending on the price of the actual farming token one more choice for Polygon is the Curve protocol, which is also available on base layer Ethereum, but of course, it's cheaper to use on Polygon. Also, you got a much higher yield when you use it on Polygon. There are not as many pools to choose from here, but Curve is a reputable protocol and has been around for a long 
time. The Tri Crypto Pool consists of uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and stable coins, and uh, has a pretty high yield as well, all things considered. Last but not least, we have the Binance Smart Chain for farming. So I will note that SushiSwap is available on the Binance Smart Chain as well, uh, but you can check that out for yourself if you want to. I will start off with Belt Finance. Belt has passed more than a billion dollars in TVL and has a few different options for farming. There are normal LP token pools, such as uh, these shown here, but there are also what they call vaults, where you can deposit a single asset to earn interest on. Next up, we have Beefy Finance. Once again, don't let the funny name fool you. This protocol has several hundred million dollars locked up in it and provides some good opportunities to earn on your crypto. A nice feature of Beefy is that all vaults are auto-compounded at an optimal rate to help you earn as much as possible through them. There are more than 300 vaults to choose from and they can be filtered through these categories right here. There are some crazy APYs here on some of the smaller and newer pools, but there are also some good rates for more established options, such as the rates here for the Cake token, which is one of the most popular pools over on... Uh, on the beefy finance so other uh, honorable mentions are auto farm and uh, pancake bunny which i'm using myself as well but uh, yeah if you would like more content like this guys let me know down in the comment section and uh, yeah i will see you guys in the next video